Okay, and we are back with more Eldritch. So, hello, goodbye, and hello again. Last time we managed to uh, make it out of the first book with the artifact, the Eye of Daylon. And we've unlocked the second strange book. Um, I am tempted to tempt fate and uh, do some of the Halloween quest, but I guess I'll save that for last. Well, I'll save uh, some Mountains of Madness for last, but next to last. Second book. Oops. guarantee that that's going to lead somewhere I want to be. Um, oh, heck, I have plenty of trees. It's not like I'm starving for... Oh, snap. I do not like these guys. Uh, if you're familiar with uh, Doctor Who's Weeping Angels, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, um, so like I was saying, th these guys are very, very bad. There's another one. I regret coming in here, in fact. Um, <laughs> ah! Oh, uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm dying. Hold on very good at dealing with these guys and they can go through doors so um let me eat uh, I, wait it restored my health so I just wasted that I'm going down possibly in more ways than one oh, I freaking hate these guys these little they don't stay down no point in wasting a bullet on them since they don't stay down. Yeah, I know you can shoot fire at me, but you're dead. Uh, I'm, I'm so totally boned. off of that stupid lizard. Uh, that could kill me. Yeah, book two is just full of all kinds of nice things, isn't it? Aha! I killed one! He wasn't in his stone form at the time. He didn't see me coming. He underestimated me. A deadly mistake. Those, uh, those break when you step on them, apparently. Forgotten about that. Okay, there's gotta be something behind this door. It's not like I don't have keys to spare. More ammo. I'm just gonna go ahead and out my gun. Actually, it's better to dispatch this guy with... Me. Dispatch is not really the best term, but... Boom, headshot. Oh, oh, I'm back here again. Never mind. This is not where I want to be. Don't really want to gamble on that fruit. I need to be going down deeper into the pit.
because there's some food over here. see me I don't think which means maybe if I'm lucky I can make him fall oh, no. I guess we'll see whether that worked in a moment still on the verge of death by the way death is ever at my doorstep I'm sneaky. Maybe I won't wake him up and have him come chase me. Whew. Um, it might seem silly, but I'm all tense. Some rotten meat, revolver. Uh, should I risk it? Feeling in much of a gambling mood at the moment, I guess. Okay, you know what? On second thought, maybe I am feeling like a gambler. Um, what have I got to lose? Oh, wait. What am I thinking? I can go down. Ha! Is that another one? No. Okay. Some bullet traps around. Um, try not to just haphazardly waste my bullets, even though I I, I can just shoot dead. Stab you, run past. Stop you, run. Rotten. Sorry. You know, in situations like this, I shouldn't worry too much about cursing. In these cursed lands. Right on the ground floor. Yes. here. I do not exist. That wasn't really worth it. But I'm on one health. Guaranteed not to be rotten. Dang it! Oh well. Oh. Ooh, ooh. Squeaky but healthy somehow. There's a gravestone. Nothing to it though. Gotcha. I think this is where I came down, which means this way. Okay. So I, I did recently finally get around to start 
um, doing an actual full playthrough of Chrono Trigger, not on camera or anything, because it's uh, kind of on PS3, but um, yeah, that's like, it's one of those games that just, I don't know why I haven't already uh, beaten it. I'm a huge fan of Chrono Cross. I've actually had, um, it was, it was, it was kind of funny, it was on a date that somebody was like, you know, how can you possibly not have beaten Chrono Trigger? Um, he, locksmith and cat, uh, what do I have? Revive cat. Um, hmm. well, it's, uh, I'll show you what it is, regardless. Locksmithing kit he uses five of them to open a locked door, but I don't really need the keys at the moment. I just need the exit. I'm guessing since I haven't been this way, that this has to be where I need to go. That's where I need to go. Um, no, there's this area I haven't been in, but there's one of the lizards inside. <laughs> ow, ow. I forgot they could spit at me. Alright, um, well, here we are again. And the Eye of Dagon is gone. Yep. Welcome to the world of roguelikes. Okay, well I feel like I've given kind of a, a good impression. I still have uh, 17 minutes left on the clock of the main game. Um, <laughs> yes, let me punch and destroy my, my only means of self-defense uh, from the start. Um... Yeah, so uh, you if you want to escape the library, you have to do it all in one go. You have to hit all three of the main books in order to do that. Now, since I've unlocked the second book, I could go straight into the second world on this playthrough. But um, I think instead we're going to do some Halloween and then maybe some, uh, some madness. I forget which one this one is. You will lose your current progress if you enter the asylum. No, I do not want to enter the asylum. That is something I will wait to do until after I've shown off everything else because I have not gotten far in the asylum. It's kind of hard mode. Not that this game is easy. And right off the bat, there's a shotgun. Hi, buddy. Can I make you fall in a hole? Oh, great. They're already mages. Okay. Uh, I've done this. It is about October, though, so I might as well. Ah! Let me out! your crap, buddy. Gun. You definitely need gun. Gun is good. Um. No, oh, f I don't have my artifact anymore. Dirt. Going back upstairs. There's a pull-up mechanic, so you have to uh, worry about that. Um, you have to be standing and jumping and hold jump in order to put yourself above one square of um, of 
block, I guess. Oh, jeez. This place is so, uh, I guess, Halloween-y. Fog everywhere. Oh, good. Flare power. Press R to throw a mystical flare. The flare will light your way for a brief time and distract enemies. That could save my life today. me out okay well uh, that's that's one way to get out of the Halloween scenario <laughs> in one piece um, all right I'm gonna store these 28 and then uh, oops. Yeah, I almost have 250 in the box all right I'll show off some of the uh, mountains of madness See, landed in this plane. Keys to the airplane are missing. You can't take off without them. There's no going back now. There's a soapstone. A greenish star-shaped fragment of soapstone. It has no effect. I'm not sure why they always give you this at the beginning of this scenario. I don't know if the soapstone actually at some point does something, but Okay, so you see these ice spikes. They're my worst enemy in this game. They're the reason I have not beaten this scenario because they are very... They can very easily knock off your, uh, your three hearts. It's not as if there's not enough horrible things in this world without spikes from both above and below. I guess you can be ducking and, and climb up. Okay. Sometimes there's a little bit of an art form to it. Try not to get caught. Alright. Uh, dagger or pickaxe. Let's just stick with the pickaxe. The thing about the pickaxe is it can break. So, while it's better than a bottle or a rock, it. Ow! Oh, ah! Okay. They're everywhere. Like, literally, you gotta, like, change the whole way that you approach situations. Oh, crap. Find a dead penguin. I'm going to steal its key. And I'm going to use the key to grab an axe. The hatchet is slower, so you have to time things. But it's much more powerful than the dagger. You know what? Um, I'm leaving you behind. Save myself the trouble of uh, actually better idea. Cross that down there. All right. Now, see, now we're thinking, right? Like now we have that pickaxe here on this floor. In fact, I will do this process again. Throw. It's got to be the ground floor by now, though, right? Logically speaking, I forget how deep the floors are on this uh, map. Usually it's like uh, three to five, I want to say, floors deep in each area. I think it gets worse the further you go in. I 
I gotta admit, this is um, going better than most of my playthroughs of this scenario. I can't jump high enough. If I brought my pickaxe, this wouldn't be a problem. There's good money to be made here at least. This is not a defenseless penguin. He is bigger than I am and can kill me. So I like penguins, but I do not like these penguins. tried that before. But wait, if this is dad, then that means I'm not even going to mess around with that guy. Have I been here? Have I done this? I have. time those hits, it's a bit tricky with timing. Uh, I mean distancing, you have to keep your distance from them otherwise they're gonna bend you to death. Yes, penguins, the feared giants of the Arctic. <laughs> you know what? Screw you buddy. Everything is an artifact. Um, oh, and I'm dead. Thank you, Ice. <sighs> okay, well, we have seven minutes left. I guess I'll show you the asylum. Most souls. You can see that I haven't gotten any. Um, so let's go through this Minecraft-ass portal here. Everything can kick your ass in this place. Everything. Not a single thing. There's a soul over there, but I can't get to it. There's not a single thing that can't just absolutely own you. This is, this is definitely hard mode. Yeah. Screw you! Trap power, aim at a creature and press right to destroy it and trap its soul. Oh. Snatch you. If I think I mean run frantically, grab soul. I only have one health. I don't know what this is! spent an extensive amount of time in the asylum. Probably should have by now, but... Uh, how many keys do I have? I have none! I have no key! Uh, I'm pretty sure that'll swing around and kill me. Take my chances. I didn't get too close. Uh, how am I supposed to get past this area? 
this is the kind of, like, the problem is, if I'd come here with a bunch of supplies, I would just be throwing them away, but coming here without a bunch of supplies means I stand no chance. I could have grabbed a dagger or something from the Halloween map and made a break for it. Alright, trap gun. This creates those, uh, the lines that- Oh, I'm dead! Okay, uh, well, four minutes. Let's give it one more whirl. Oh right, this is the asylum. You can't even bring anything in here. It is a separate world and story from the normal game. I have never been so happy to see a hatchet in my life. Well, maybe once or twice. They're just stationary. Okay. That's bad. <laughs> they can't fall. Bow. Bow is everywhere. right about now. down on some spikes. That's always fun, right? Everybody loves falling onto spikes. It's part of this well-balanced breakfast. Of, uh... No, I, I, I died, so I can't capture your soul. I'm sorry. Not that I don't want your soul. I would swallow your soul. But... I'm just going in for the oh, oh! Oh, you're both alive. Okay. God, what the hell just killed me? What is this? Did I walk into a shaga? 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 Oh well. Uh, anyway. <laughs> so this has been uh, Eldritch, everyone. Thank you for joining me. Happy October, etc. And hopefully this one won't be at one frame per second. <laughs> Alright. Peace!